welcome back to another episode of R5 Adventures. Today, we're doing more work on the car. We need to change the front brakes on the Pontiac Montana. Still have to remember what car this is. Still new to me. Scrap and Pallet Man has asked multiple times for more car repair videos. And if Scrap and Pallet Man asks for it, well, he's going to get it. Well, a lot of you guys seem to like them. Let me know in the comments if you like these videos. If you want to keep seeing more videos of us repairing the cars, more repair videos on any of the vehicles by me or Mike. But we're going to be doing the brakes on the Pontiac Montana. Front brakes, they're grinding horribly bad, so we'll see how bad they are. Hopefully the rotors are okay. To start off on this job, you need to loosen these lug nuts before you raise the car up. And then you'll raise the car up so the tire is off the ground and put a jack stand underneath there. You should also chuck the tires just so the car can't roll back, but use the jack stand just for extra safety measures in case you end up bumping your jack right here, or your, your jack's jack, and knock it loose. Your car doesn't fall to the ground. It has an extra measure to keep it up in the air. I've already got this lined up to a piece of metal, so I'm just going to jack it up. Okay, so now that the tire is off the ground, the car is jacked up, we can remove the rest of these lug nuts again. Well, remove them fully, not remove them again. You can take these lug nuts off and remove the tire. Before you remove the caliper from the brake assembly, you need to take the cap for the brake fluid off. I'm showing you the big picture of the car. Um, you can't see the cap so easily. It says dot three on it, but it is back here. It's this one back here underneath. You take that off, that relieves the pressure so you can push that caliper back in once you remove the brakes. But, you remove that, and then we go back to the brakes. We need to remove this caliper. So we need to take these nuts off back here. There's one here, and there's one down at the bottom. And you're going to use a 15 millimeter socket. And you just loosen it on up. Once it gets to a certain point, usually you can kind of twist it off by hand. These are a little bit more stuck on there. If anything I've learned with this car, this car has a lot of things that have been seized up. They haven't been touched in a while. So, nothing has been easy with this car. <laughs> Thank you. 
is not gonna do it today. Let's see if the bottom one is coming out right. So you're supposed to only be getting this one piece off right here, not the whole thing, but it's taking the whole thing off. Well, once you have those calipers out, you're going to pull this assembly off. Once you get the caliper off, which that was a chore in itself, it did not want to budge. This car was a blessing in itself, but it's come with a lot of seized up issues. You want to put the old brake pad, which you can see these desperately needed to be done, over the caliper. Then you take your brake caliper pusher, I'm not sure if that's what it's called, you put that in and then you tighten it. That'll push that caliper back where it's supposed to be. That's why you have your brake fluid cap open right now. So that way there's no pressure. You just keep tightening until that pushes all the way in. Yeah, these brakes on this side were excessively worn scared me for a second because I saw stuff fly and it sounded like a spark but it was the brake pad. This brake pad is pretty well gone. You gotta just keep on going until that caliper is all the way in. Once it's all the way in, we gotta take this other brake pad out. Yeah, this side, the other side wasn't bad, so I was kind of like, man, I wonder if the pads really need to get changed. But look at that. Thing is like paper thin. And wait till you see what they're supposed to look like. That is a good brake pad next to that. You see the difference? Insane, the amount of thickness of the regular pad to this pad. This is basically just the back piece of metal. But you put those brake pads in. With how thin those pads were, I can't believe how hard it was to actually get the caliper off, but I had to fight with that for quite some time. It did not want to come off. But new brake pads are on. You can just see just from the video itself how much thicker those are. Now you unscrew your tool. That's now a garbage brake. And you're going to put the caliper back on. You need to turn the wheel because right now the brake line is just snug. I can't quite pull this where it needs to go. Maybe that was part of my problem. Who knows? 
Okay, now that we have it positioned again, we can actually hopefully maneuver a little better. We gotta try to get this over. Oh yes, a lot easier. A lot, lot easier. Now just like the other side, the whole nut came out, which I think with this car it might actually come out because I can't loosen it away from each other. So I don't know, I've never had that happen with another car, but the whole thing came out. So now I gotta position this. Once that's fully in, we're gonna tighten that down. Okay. Again, we're using a 15 millimeter socket for this. I'm going to hand tighten that a little bit. Because that one portion does not screw in, so you have to actually push it in to get it where it needs to be. And then you got to screw it down. I might have to reposition that one because for some reason it doesn't seem to want to connect. I think that one's connected now. There we go. So we're gonna tighten those back up. I'm gonna move the camera because it's kind of hard to do with the camera right there. Once you have that caliper back on and brake pads on, now you just put that tire back on. And you repeat this on both sides. And just hope you don't have the issues I've had today. This car, as big of a blessing as it was to get, has been nothing but trouble every time we've done anything with it. <laughs> Sorry I didn't get the ending of that recorded. It got too dark. I was working until it got dark out. It just got too dark to record anything. But once you get the caliper put back on, the brakes on, you just you put the tire back on and you torque that down at 100 pounds and the job's done. Essentially, a brake job should not take you long, unless you run into issues. Seems to be my middle name lately with these cars. But, it's really not a hard job. Anyone can do it. Hope this video helped you out. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know if you like these videos. Do you like the auto repair videos? Let us know in the comments. But, until next time guys, enjoy life and we'll catch you on the next one.